No sperm when I ejaculate. What's wrong? The absence of sperm. Known as azoospermia, during, during ejaculation can be a concerning issue for men and may indicate an underlying reproductive health problem. There are two main types of azoospermia, obstructive and non-obstructive. Obstructive azoospermia. This occurs when there is a physical blockage preventing the release of sperm. Common causes include congenital abnormalities, infections, or surgical complications. Conditions like vasectomy, where the vas deferens is intentionally blocked, can also lead to obstructive azoospermia. Non-obstructive azoospermia, in this case, the testicles produce little to no sperm. This can be due to various factors such as hormonal imbalances, genetic conditions, or issues with testicular development. Conditions like varicosal, a swelling of the veins that drain the testicle, can contribute to non-obstructive azoospermia. If you're experiencing a lack of sperm during ejaculation, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional, ideally a urologist or a reproductive endocrinologist. They will conduct a thorough evaluation, which may include physical examination to assess the genitals for any abnormalities or signs of obstruction, hormonal tests to evaluate hormone levels, including testosterone and follicle-stimulating hormone, which play a crucial role in sperm production, genetic testing to identify any genetic conditions that may affect sperm production, testicular biopsy. In some cases, a biopsy may be recommended to assess the testicular tissue directly. The appropriate treatment depends on the underlying cause. In cases of obstructive azoospermia, surgical interventions, such as vasectomy reversal or repairing obstructed ducts, may be options. For non-obstructive azoospermia, treatments may include hormone therapy, lifestyle changes, or assisted reproductive technologies such as in vitro fertilization with sperm retrieval. It's important not to delay seeking professional help if you're experiencing this issue and wish to conceive. Early intervention and a comprehensive evaluation can provide valuable insights into the cause and potential treatment options.